Hello, it's Brick Bros UK and we've decided to create our first Ninjago movie multi-build from two of the most popular sets, which are the Spinjitsu Training 70606 and Ninjago City Chase 70609, because both sets give us lots of useful parts, plus four of the six ninja which will help expand play. And after combining both sets, we eventually made the multi-build we're calling the Ninjago City Sky Attack, which includes a Junk Chopper for the Shark Army and a Fire Flyer for Kai. So if you have both of these sets, you can follow our step-by-step -step build tutorial at the end to make it, but first let's review Sky Attack. Now as far as spare parts go, we only had a few left over which you could add to the build, or the Ninja could take some of the fruit for a healthy snack. We also kept the police tuk tuk intact as it's a cool ground vehicle so there's no need to break this up. Then for some extra customization, we felt it would be fun to change up some of the minifigures so we gave Officer Toki Ham's head to make him more scared. We also armed the Shark Army Thug with claws and a power fist and completely changed up Ham by giving him Officer Toki's angry faced head, the fish hammer and the Garmadon helmet to turn him into a Shark Army recruit to double the Shark Army numbers for battle. Moving on, it's time to check out the builds and the best creation is the Junk Chopper, which is a helicopter prototype that's been created by the Shark Army from lots of junkyard parts, so that's why it has a wooden homemade design. And at the front we cleverly used Ham's tan hat for a round nose piece, then behind the nose is the open top wooden frame cockpit that has a single seat for the pilot with hidden loot. So this cockpit is the best place to clip in the thug when he wants to fight the ninja in the skies. Then along the sides we equipped the chopper with a large black cannon and smaller brown one either side with gold clips for detail. And for extra firepower we created two fish rocket pods that have a silver fish on the outside for decoration and this trans red rocket tube that's clipped to a wing so it can swing up and down in play to launch its rockets. Now going back to the chopper's main body, the top area has sticker tiles to add colour as well as apple snacks, but the main feature here are the four large rotors which have different blades made from poles and lampposts, again adding to the chopper's junk design. So it doesn't look attractive, but it does spin when the vehicle needs to take off, so like normal helicopters it has cool spinning rotors. And if we turn to the back on each side there's silver swords clipped on to act as fins to give it more of a streamlined shape. We also made use of a lot of random bricks to create a wooden tail that has a basket fish sign tail end with a rotor that can move, but it's really just there for show as it's only clipped on, however it's all in keeping with the chopper's junk construction. Then finally for an extra feature we attached a rope piece to the bottom so the shark army recruit can grab a ride to the volcano lair. Or you could fly in to attack the ninja on the ground then hook up the tuk tuk to cause mischief for the police. And that's the Shark Army Junk Chopper which does have a crude rough design but what it lacks in looks it more than makes up for in play value. Next up to not forget the ninja we created a small fire flyer for Kai that was a fun little build to make and it's got a sloping black nose with gold flamethrower nozzles on the front. It's also got two small red wings that can flap when it's in the air and underneath there's cherry bombs to make a distraction. Turning round to the other side you can see that it has a small standing platform and a spinning turbine to power it. So it's a simple little vehicle which is great to use with Kai who can stand on it and once he draws his swords he can swoop in to save the day. And that's the cool little fire flyer. On a final note our Ninjago City Sky Attack multi build is the perfect build to make if you want to create a larger battle scene from the City Chase and Spinjitsu training sets because as you've just seen the good side has 4 ninja and officer Toki and the shark army now have 2 soldiers to make the battle more fair. But what really helps expand the sets for play is the cool junk chopper that can carry both shark army minifigures and unleash its cannons and rockets on the ninja. Then to counter this the ninja can climb aboard the tuk tuk and support Kai on his sleek fire flyer that's small but still packs a punch in combat. So if you're interested in making something different for your Ninjago City grab your Ninjago City chase set and Spinjitsu training set and start this step by step build tutorial.
And that's the finished build, so now you can enjoy the Ninjago City Sky Attack, or maybe you've taken inspiration from the build to make something more awesome. Hope you enjoyed a Brick Bros UK multi-build, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Brick Bros UK.